Hey guys, I hope you're having a great day today. So I thought I would show you the stuff that I got from Notoriously Morbid. Um, it's my very first Notoriously Morbid order. I was watching, I think it's called What's New in Makeup is the name of the video. And it's on Jen Love L-U-V, Jen Love's Reviews. And she does this like news channel kind of thing about all the new stuff in makeup. And she has people that report to her from Sephora and Ulta and people that are into natural makeup and, and all that stuff. So she's very, very informative and I definitely recommend that you check her out. But um, I was watching an old video of hers from sometime in February and I was, you know, scrolling through because she's really good about listing everything um, in order and everything. I feel like my phone's going to go off. But um, I saw a Slay Me um, listing and I immediately clicked on it and went over and it was Buffy related well if you've been around for any length of time you know I am a Buffy nerd I am a Joss Whedon follower I love him he is one of my favorite people um, every TV show that he has been a part of I love um, until Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. came out, I had every single episode that he had ever touched his fingers on. And the next thing that I buy, as soon as I allow myself to buy box sets, because I have the back stock, like you wouldn't believe, that I'm still trying to work through and get broken in and watched and everything. But I will have Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. in my collection, because I love that show. But anyway, so... I got the Slay Me collection, and it is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight different colors. Um, the pack, the label looks like that. And so, I'm gonna go show you swatches. I am wearing them on a couple of them on my eyes today, and I will tell you those um, as we go along and kind of any thoughts that I've had about them because I haven't really played with them before today. So the first one I have is the color Watcher to Father. So I'm assuming that is Giles's color. Like that. Um, a very smoky, like purple gray, and I'm gonna make a huge swatch and not have room for anything else. But anyways, so that's what that looks like. And that is a matte. Most of the colors in this collection are matte. And then I have one or two that I truly believe are toppers. Um, so the next one, and I, look, I got the Watcher to Father under my fingernails. <laughs> That's going to be fun. So the next one is The Powers That Be. And it is a beautiful kind of an aqua color. That's what that looks like. Also a matte. So the next one is Burn All the Witches. And this is, I'm sure, Willow's color. Um, and it is the color of her hair. It is a beautiful, rusty, fiery matte red. Oh my gosh, this is so pretty. But it's just like a burnt, it's a dark, burnt, reddish color. It's gorgeous. I can't wait to play with that. I can see that wetted down and made as eyeliner. I can see that as a rusty, smoky eye. I mean, I can see that for so many things. The next one is Unattainable, which I think is Buffy's color. This one is one of those that I think is a topper. It is a gorgeous, I hope the camera can pick this up. Oh my gosh, the glitters, and it's just so pretty, and the camera's not picking it up. It seems to have pink, green, um, there's possibly some peach in there. It's absolutely stunning. I don't know if you can see that. Look at that. But I can see this packed on the lid. Sorry about my phone. I can see this packed on the lid. I can see it with a darker base. Um, I can see it as a topper on top of, you know, anything that you just want to add a little bit of that color shift to. It's absolutely stunning. 
and I can't say that enough because anybody who knows me knows that I'm not a huge fan of mattes. Mattes have their place. I am just a person that, you know, I like a mixture of textures. So I do like that they included toppers, but I am not going to lie and say I wasn't disappointed when I opened them up and they were mostly matte. But I have come to love them as I've had them, because I've had them for a couple of weeks. So um, the next one, this is the one that I am most disappointed in. I don't know what to do with a white shadow. Um, I'm not a person that really uses a white shadow. Every white shadow that's ever been in any palette I've ever had is pretty much untouched. But this is, it's the White Hats. And I'm not sure, but there is a quote, there's a line in an alternate, ep an alternate universe kind of episode of Buffy where Xander says it's the White Hats. So maybe this is Xander's color. I don't know. But it is just, just a matte white. It's very smooth. I'll give it that. So, you ladies that know a little more than me, what would you use this for? What would you use a white matte eyeshadow for? Is this something you would put all over your lid? Is this something that you would just use as a highlight? Please tell me, because I never use it, so I'd like to know. Okay. So the next one is Passion. This is what I believe to be Angel's color. This is also more of a topper color. Um, oh, I wonder if you can see all the shifts. That is so, so pretty. But um, there's that. And it's like a lilac gray. And I keep sticking my fingernails down in things. But it's a lilac gray, but there is pink and there's green, and there's just so many color shifts in that. It's gorgeous. Um, I have it packed on my lid right now. Um, it doesn't show up as anything because, of course, it's a topper, and I didn't realize that while I was doing my makeup. My bad. But anyway, so there's that. The next color is Bringers of the First, and this is a matte mustardy color and Makeup Geek has a color very similar or in the same vein it's a, a yellow that nobody knows what to do with it's kind of mustardy um, I think it's called Chickadee and so she says that is a beautiful transition color so that's honestly what I think of this is um, as a transitional color because I like to use matte transition colors let's see if we can get a swatch And I have sparkles all over my hand now. I don't know if you can pick that up, but it's just a mustardy color. So that to me, like I said, seems like it would make a nice transition color. I don't see any other option in my book. Like I said, if you can think of other ways to use these, please let me know. But in my mind, that would be a transitional color, and that's all it would be. The final color is the color that I have in my crease right now, and I am absolutely in love with it. I wasn't in love with it when I first saw it, but let me tell you what it is. Okay, so this is done. This is Anya's color. This, okay, if you watched Buffy, Anya was a vengeance demon, and when you saw her in all her vengeance demon-ness, she had these veins all over her face, and they were the color of this eyeshadow. So this is the Anya demon vein color. But anyway, so it's just kind of a reddish, almost a bruisey color. But, and that's what I was afraid of, but it turned out so pretty on my eyes. Sorry guys, my camera cut off. So, um, I was talking about done. Um, what I was about to say was I accidentally applied this wet on one side. So you can see it, I think, a little more vibrant on one side than the other. But when you blend this out, it, it looks reddish-ish. Reddish-ish, I'm making up words now but it's just so pretty and purple once you get it on your eye. So let me go ahead and get you that swatch. Obviously these are all without primer. You know if you put primer on it's gonna punch it. But this is but I think it makes it nice with mattes because it helps them to blend a little better. 
Um, if you have a truly, truly extremely pigmented matte, sometimes they're a little hard to work with. But I worked with Done today, and it was absolutely stunning. I just went and grabbed my little It Cosmetics double-sided brush and blended that sucker right out. Now, this was a thrown-together eye look. I was just playing and because I had these out and I was going to film anyway. But um, I'll show a close-up of the of my eyes. There's a picture that I post on Instagram. It's just this one eye. But, um, the eyeliner that I used, this is one that I don't know if you can get anymore. I got this at the Dollar Tree um, because I was just on a liquid liner kick. I am going to poke around and see if they have this kind of a color in some of you know hard candy or if milani has some more of these but this is a beautiful thing it's um prismatic purple it is the ultra fine liquid liners and it's purple but it has a bluish you can see that i think a bluish shift to it which let me see here let me, i don't know if you can see it but in real life it has a bluish shift to it, which makes it the prettiest purple eyeliner I may have ever had. And I didn't shake it up before I used it, and I also botched up my eyes. I know that I screwed up my eyeliner, but I tried to fix it. I made a thicker line, and I winged it and all that good stuff. But anyway, so that is the Slay Me collection from Notoriously Morbid. Um, I definitely recommend that you check it out. Um because it's gorgeous, and if you're a buffy nut like me, you probably will want to have at least one of these colors. Um, I will be playing with this a little bit more in the next couple of weeks, so I may come back in a couple of weeks with a get ready with me or something like that, kind of showing these in better light, because I know I'm not in the greatest lighting right now, but uh, yeah. So I hope that you enjoyed that, and I'm sorry if I was a little all over the place. You have a great day.